a little while ago, I was in a rut and basically in a point in my life where I was not being really productive. It's basically a period of your life where you just can't get any stuff done. And don't get me wrong, I had ideas, but I just couldn't get to doing them. I was lying in my bed a lot, and when I was at my computer, I just couldn't like pitch new ideas. So I decided to do something that worked really good for me in the past, and it will work for you as well. So listen up. I got up from my bed, I walked to my living room, sat down, and just stared at the wall. Crazy. And now let me explain. While I was sitting on this floor, I was scrolling through my phone and binged YouTube like I regularly do when I'm bored and have nothing else to do. The thing that I was actually doing, yes, I know I was sitting on this floor and I was staring at this wall, but I was changing my environment. Because when I was just lying in my bed or sitting behind my computer like I normally do, I was basically in a loop doing what I always am doing. I was at the confines of my regular loop and I was just being unproductive. So I changed my environment. I just sat on the floor. Then it occurred to me what I did last time when I was doing the same thing, when I was sitting on this floor, I started staring at the wall. I knew that for the past few weeks or even for a month, I hadn't got anything productive done. So I just decided to stare at that wall. My intention actually was really not to do anything. I didn't have the intention to come up with a great video idea for my company or even write some good new scripts. Nope, just sitting down and staring at that wall. Whatever happens, happens and I'm there in complete silence. So something really, really interesting happens. For the first five to 10 minutes, my ego really got involved and said to me, yeah, bro, you really got this. There is nothing difficult. I just sitting down and staring at that wall. No problemo. Then you get kind of bored. Your mind goes wandering, but you still try to remind yourself that, yeah, this is kind of boring. I got this, but still your mind starts to wander around. I started to get small ideas with the edits that I was working on. Like I could tweak a little bit of this part and that part. I started getting new video ideas that I want to do in the future and started to think about how to reach new clients. In my head, I was starting to get ideas how to be productive again. I wasn't getting any ideas of being unproductive. Like for example, just binging YouTube or watching Netflix. Nope, my mind craved usefulness. I was thinking about being productive because thinking about success is a lot more fun than thinking about you being not productive. Like watching some random Netflix series is not fun for your mind because no one actually thinks these things are fun. Well, maybe some people do, but in my mind, binge watching the Netflix series, it's just not fun for your mind. It's just a way to get over your boredom because fun is actually brainstorming your own potential. So when I was going through this, I started to get like an itch or something and no, I don't have a rash, don't worry. But I started to develop an itch in my mind. And it actually kind of started to disturb me because I couldn't finish my mission, like staring at that wall. I couldn't do anything because I was sitting down and staring at that wall and these ideas were like bombarding me all the time. But this was my intention. My intention was to stare at that wall. But I had some really cool ideas about my edits and I came up with some really interesting ways to present my ideas to my clients. But again, I can't do anything about it because I'm just staring at this wall, right? So then I was thinking like, maybe I just run real quick to my computer, write down these ideas and come back to sitting on this floor and staring at this wall. I still decided not to I was thinking to myself like maybe five to ten more minutes let's see where this goes and as time progressed these ideas really started to eat away at me to the point that the pain of this boredom and not just starting to resolve an idea that I just had in my mind was a lot worse than sitting down so at that point I actually started accepting that this is my reality now at the time being so another five minutes passed and the ideas kept coming at me so the itch just grew larger and larger. Again, I just thought like, why not run to my computer? Just turn it on. It's just a simple button and just write down my ideas. Maybe even open up my editing software and just see where it goes. Again, it's just a simple push of a button, opening up After Effects and seeing where these new creative ideas lead me. And then it occurred to me after being in a rut for weeks, maybe even for a month, of not coming up with any good ideas. It only took me about 30 minutes to just sit on this floor and stare at that wall to be productive again and bursting with new ideas. So you might be thinking, damn man, that's so dumb. It's just a mind trick. I'm smarter than that. And I do understand it's all a trick to trick yourself into being productive. But what if I told you that if you sit behind your computer and you really, really, I mean, really don't want to do anything, you still can. If you really don't want to write that essay or 
do those edits or do whatever work you are currently doing. You have my full permission to not do these things and just continue sitting behind your computer like you always did. Go and open up that document or the software and just stare at it. You don't need to trick yourself if you think that's all what it is, a trick. But what's going to happen eventually is that you still are going to do it. You are just going to get so bored that you have to do it and you probably have a deadline as well. But in my mind, you are missing out on the part that is going to make you hyper productive, more fun, and coming up with new ideas. Because what happens, like I said earlier, with this sitting down and staring at this wall, is that you have blocked everything that you normally grasp towards. You basically blocked all the doorways, no regular boredom cures that keep your mind busy with the stuff that you don't actually need, like TikTok or Insta Reels. So what happens when you blocked all those doorways and just numbly stare at that wall is that you still left one doorway opened. The door to curiosity and ideas. And I really suggest you try this out. If you find this helpful, I'm really happy for you. I actually am. Let's all just every now and then sit down and stare at the wall and I'll see you in the next one. Catch ya.